Okay, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use and operate uh, the Guard Viewer platform for desktop. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Live View and Playback and some other configuration settings that we can use with this very powerful app. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Mine's right here at the bottom in my taskbar. I'm gonna click on it and allow. And we're gonna see it start to open up. Okay, here's your main screen. We're gonna get right out of that. We don't need anything here. We're gonna to need to log into our device. So we're gonna to go to the control panel, device management right here. And I wanna log in using a cloud device because I have this already set up under a cloud account. So we're gonna go log in and you're gonna enter your username here and your password here. And click auto login if you want the program to automatically log in when you open it, which um, you probably will. For this one, I will not because it's just a demo. Okay, so I click log in. <clears throat> now you're gonna see here it's connecting. And we're online. So right here, if you want, you can check this and sync the time to your computer. Um, we're gonna go back to control panel and we're gonna go to live view. Here's my device. You can see I've only got three cameras, three out of eight. Um, if I wanna view, I can click this plus icon and my cameras will come up. So I'm gonna do camera two and three, so we'll go Camera two, mainstream, which is high quality. Substream is lower quality, but smoother. So I'm gonna to go to mainstream and I'll click over here on this window and go to mainstream. And now I can view my cameras. You might have more uh, for this demo purpose. I just have these two I'm gonna show you. You can double click to enlarge. Down here, you can take a snapshot, start recording, stop recording. If you have a PTZ, you can control it here. You can digitally zoom in if you wish to. You can use, if your camera has a microphone, you can start two-way audio, instant playback, and trigger alarm output if it's hooked to a, you have a camera hooked to like a strobe or a siren. Um, okay, so that's uh, basically live view. And then what we wanna do is get into playback to see how to pull video files using this software. So we're gonna go back to control panel and we're gonna to go to playback. Now, if I go to my device, I'm gonna click camera two and I'm gonna to go to yesterday and go search and you're gonna see this fill up with all the footage from yesterday. And I'll start playing at the earliest footage from yesterday that it received. So what we're gonna do, now it's playing right here. Let's say if I really wanna narrow into this, I'm gonna click over here to enlarge my graph. This is enlarge, this is shrink. Just make it easier to navigate. So here I am and Let's say this guy is dropping off a package right here that went missing or something like that, and we want to um, get the footage. Um, you can see right here, these are all my blocks of motion. Um, these are my blocks of motion. And so what I'm gonna do is this one's right here. Let's say I wanna pull that one so I know the time here, which I can write down. And then what I can do is I wanna go download and right here this one matches this one so i'm going to go by file click this one and we're going to download it um, that will add it into um, uh, your your tasks there um, and now it'll it'll start automatically downloading so we can go find that file later and i'll show you how to do that but let's say i want to see when he pulled up um, so one thing to make this easier is let's go to single view. 
Now I want to look at my other camera to, to get him pulling up. What I want to do is we can stop this here and we're going to go to camera three instead. Same day, we're going to go search and it's going to go again, start playing from the earliest motion it has detected or for this matter vehicle it has detected and you can see how it draws the box around a vehicle. It knows it's a vehicle. Um, so after this, on my other camera, you might have noticed the box was around the person because that was on human detection, the camera. This camera is set for vehicle detection only. Or you can set for both. Um, for this system, what we wanted is we wanted an alert when a vehicle pulls up into this property and then once they get out of their vehicle, we want to start recording the activity of them getting out of the vehicle. Um, and we wanted to be alerts uh, for that because she parks her vehicles over in the other area. We don't want vehicle detection constantly sending alerts. So it makes sense that this one is on vehicle detection. So we get alerts to our phone when a vehicle pulls up and that one is on human detection so that when a human comes there, we get alerts, but not from our parked vehicles that we know are gonna be there. Okay, and same idea, I've got this here. So if I want to export that video, I would go here and select that one, and we're gonna download. You can see right here, this is the progress, download progress and it's gonna show that it's pulling the video at 2.69 megabytes per second. Um, when that finishes, we're gonna to need to open the file folder that, that it is saved to. And uh, we're gonna to need to set that in our settings. It has a default setting to where it will go to, but if you go to system configuration, um, where it says recording, download a recording pass, path, sorry. This is where you could change your path for recording to um, go to your file. So let's say you want to save it to your desktop. Just go to there, select folder. And now I'm saving video files to my desktop. Okay. And that's just a basic video of how to operate the Guard Station 3.0. Um, we're only going to go over live view and playback, which we just did today. Um, as you can see, it's, it's very, very easy to operate. Um, and once you have your files, you can just share them or send them or put them onto a USB disk or whatever you wish to do. Um, and there's other ways to log in as well. The cloud login is by far the most easiest because you'll have your username and password that you use to log into your mobile app already. You just have to enter it into this software and then you can automatically connect to your system and use your desktop to pull files um, as well. You can pull files through the uh, phone app, which is in a different video. Um, that will be the GuardViewer mobile app training tutorial. This is just a real simple video on how to live view and play back from the software. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video.